Okay, everyone, welcome to this uh, MemoQ tutorial. Today we're going to be uh, learning how to extract terms from a document that we're going to translate to create a term base. So, uh, the main things that you need to make sure you have done for here from the project home is make sure that you have a document uploaded and also make sure that you have a term base created. So, now that we've done uh, both of those things, uh, the next thing we're going to do is up here under the preparation ribbon, we're going to select on here on the right extract terms. Now that'll bring up this menu that just talks about, uh, well, it just looks at uh, different settings you want as far as um, the minimum length of terms, frequency that they appear just to limit so that you don't get too many results. We're going to just for um, for kicks, we're going to make it a minimum of four characters, but really you can do whatever fits your project best. Um, once you've set all the settings you would like, you hit OK, and it extracts and pulls out all the uh, terms that um, you could potentially want. Now, from here, what you're going to want to do is um, go through and decide which ones you would like to keep. Now, the easiest way to do that is once you click on one, here in the top we have either accept or drop as a term. So let's say we do not want information. We're gonna hit drop and it highlights it in red. It says, no, we're not gonna do that. But if we want open source intelligence, that sounds like a good one. Uh, so we're gonna accept that as a term. So a lot of these aren't gonna come out exactly how we want them, or they're not gonna be that relevant. So we'll just hit, you know, we'll drop those, we'll drop these, um, but you know, let's say we want social media, we want information poor, and just like that, we're going to be accepting and dropping terms that we find uh, useful. Now, after that, for the ones that you would like to keep right here, uh, you can insert um a potential translation now i don't actually speak arabic which is the uh, target language uh that i selected for this project so uh i can't actually translate these but uh that is the goal right is you uh, you translate these and then once you're done all you're going to do is hit export to term base. Uh, yep, we're going to export it to that regular one. Uh, we're going to fill these out with, we'll just put in their same names. And then you're going to hit OK. And that's it. You're done. Now, uh, if we go back to our project home, within our term base, we now have entries, which we didn't before. So um, that is the conclusion of our tutorial.